So in today's video, we are going to be speedrunning Minecraft factions. Now this may seem a little weird based on the title, but I've got a couple of different categories and I'm just going to be trying to speedrun them and complete these categories in as little time as possible. The first category I'm going to be doing is trying to complete all three quests that they give you when you first start out in the least amount of time as possible. The next category will be trying to get a million coins as quick as possible. And then the final category will be trying to kill a boss. Anyways, before we can get started, the server that I'm playing on is EC cpehub.net. It's a bedrock server. You should come join. It's one of the most popular faction servers on Minecraft bedrock. So if you have not checked it out, I would highly recommend giving it a try. Anyways, with that said, before we get started, please consider subscribing as we are incredibly close to 10,000 subscribers. Anyways, with that said, let's get speedrunning. All right, so here we are on a fresh account at the ECPE hub. So all we have to do is just join OP factions and then I'm going to switch to a scene it's going to automatically start a timer and we're going to try to complete the three quests that it gives us in as little time as possible. So I guess with that said, let's get started. And we are going now. So I don't think I've ever joined the server before on this account. So let's just go to the quest giver and let's see what items we got to get. So we need 29 oak logs. That's going to be easy. We're going to need obsidian, golden apple, 64 furnaces. Okay too dirt all right bet i'm trying to make like a mental note i might you know what i'm gonna refresh this quest i think no it's i i can't refresh that's cheating so 27 obby 35 gaps and 64 furnaces oh this is gonna be a pain but let's let's just go to the wild and let's get started all right i'm not using any kits here so to start off two dirt there we go we've completed the first quest now we need to somehow get we need a ton of oak logs. We need 29 of them. So I'm going to grab this mortal axe and I guess I'm going to start chopping down some trees. We don't really have too many. So I'm going to do slash wild again. Terrible spawn. Terrible spawn. Terrible spawn. Come on. We're, we're getting so unlucky here. Here we go. Here we go. This is good. We're doing well, I think, to, to start off with, I guess. All right. This should be everything we need here. 29. So we've already completed two of the three quests. We just have the last one to do, but this one's going to be a pain. We need... 27 obsidian 35 golden apples now i'm not sure if you're talking about enchanted golden apples or regular golden apples i guess i'm just gonna have to find out oh boy we only have three golden apples all right hold on hold on we got more in this chest we got eight so we're at 11 oh there we go now we're chilling I, di I didn't know they were so common so we got the 35 gaps we need now we need 27 obsidian and 64 furnaces i have no idea we're gonna have to do a ton of mining. Thankfully, I just found an MD pickaxe, so let's just get mining. So essentially, once I fill all of these rows in my inventory, then I'm gonna have enough to craft all the furnaces that we need. And then all we're gonna need after that is just some obsidian, which should be kind of easy. I just gotta find like a base or something, I think. Now, for those of you who don't know, these quests, they don't really give you too many items, but they're just kind of a nice way to help you when you get started, give you some decent items for just kind of easy tasks to complete. All right, we almost have completed it, and there we go, perfect. We're gonna do slash wild one more time. All right, 64 furnaces com complete. Okay, I got I got kicked, we gotta log back real quick. All right, I haven't even been looking at the time, but we're already approaching almost five minutes to complete these. It's kind of getting a little bit much now. Maybe I should have refreshed that quest, but I didn't really want to be cheating, so it's fine. I got 50 furnaces crafted, but I, I guess it didn't let me craft the rest that's kind of weird all right come on and we did not get kicked which is perfect all right now all we need to do is find some obsidian so i'm just gonna do slash wild a ton until i see some obsidian around me looks like i found someone's base or something okay this is a little weird i know i don't really have time but i kind of want to mine let's see what's in these chests but no we're speed running we just gotta focus we got a ton of obsidian here which should be enough in theory and there we go we got enough let's go slash spawn and hopefully this is everything we need for these quests come on where are you where are you oh we're, we're approaching i want to get this under eight minutes we got about 30 seconds to claim all of these then Come on. Gather items. Submit quest. Retrieve items. Complete. And there we go. That's time 742. It's it's going to keep rolling, but we completed the quest. So quite literally, that's all we're going to be doing with this account. I'm going to get a fresh account because this already has a couple of stats on it. And once I get this fresh account, we're going to try and complete the next category of speedrunning. All right, so we're loading up for the next one. And as soon as we get on the server, I'm going to switch over to the timer. And just like that, we're going. So basically, we have as little time as possible to quite literally get a million coins. We're going to do slash wild. We're going to get our starter kit, get us some night vision at least. All right, now let's... I think the 
fastest way is literally just gonna go mining i want to try to find like at least an md pickaxe so we're gonna keep doing slash wild now i could be mistaken but i, I just want to say that mining is gonna be our best shot at getting a million coins now some people might say oh you could do, just do slash vote but honestly that's kind of cheating in my opinion so we're just gonna be doing it the old-fashioned way but i'm thinking literally just mining and we'll get a million coins pretty quick no way we yes let's go so that's time we ended at like 24 34 or something man oh my goodness that took forever to complete though we we should have done that in way less time i think we're gonna give this one more reset and just see if we can get it in less time if we don't get it in under 10 minutes though i'm just gonna call it as 24 minutes as a speed run all right so i forgot to start the timer we literally just logged on i want to see if this account has a rank never mind it doesn't all right i don't know what i'm doing i gotta go slash wild and i gotta find a pickaxe and literally start mining just like that it's so easy 99 percent of these chests have an md pickaxe in them all right come on we can totally do this sub 10 i just i need to get lucky all right once we get to level two we're gonna go slash spawn hopefully we can get like a a good custom enchant book and then from there we're chilling otherwise i don't know i just like that slash spawn and we gotta go to the mailman I don't even want to decrypt these relics yet. I just want to see what I can get from the rewards, elite key, and come on, give me the thing I need. Custom enchant XP. Let's run over to this dude. Let's try to get this. Let's just get this going. Come on, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Digger, dang it. All right, and speedrun is going. We are going to go to slash wild. Literally, all we're doing is just we're mining until we get level two opening up a custom enchant book and hoping that it's something decent and if we do that we can easily get something like a like a sub two and a half minute run all right just like that we're going slash spawn and we run over to the mailman then we got to run all the way back to open it up so just like that wish me luck please let's get something decent from this come on come on come on springs let's go let's go that that'll auction for a million now we just literally gotta wait for this to sell and we can potentially get something sub three maybe sub four what do we got forge note forge note forge note 61 so we also got a forge note that we're gonna try to sell for a million coins maybe it might work hold up i have an idea each of these alone could sell for 500k all right we got cooldown so we just gotta wait and then we can item this one and ah it too all right someone bought one of the things let's go let's go I'm like begging people in chat. They aren't good. I don't care. Buy it. Let's go. We got a million coins. Seven minutes and eight seconds to get a million coins. Obviously, that could be shaved down about in half, just depending on how good you are with it. But quite honestly, I'll take a seven minute speed run. Let's move on. All right. So the last challenge that we're going to be doing is probably going to be the most difficult. And that's trying to kill a boss in as little time as possible. The reason why is because we don't we don't know when the boss spawns. There's no way for us to tell. So I guess with that said, let's get the speed run started. And oh, my goodness. I think the first thing I got to do is literally just go to the wild and start mining. I need to be level nine. So that's that's all I know I got to do. And that's going to take a lot of mining and potentially mining sand is going to be the way to go. And eh, who am I kidding? Let, let's just mine regularly. All right, I just asked if someone can activate a level mod modifier just because I'm sure someone's got one and it might help me. Anyways, though, this is pretty much what we're going to be doing. And then we just got to get some decent armor and try to kill a boss. And that that's going to be the speed run. Now, actually, I just realized there's one thing I can do. And that, that's getting a custom scoreboard. If I do here, there we go. I've got the three things that I need. It looks ugly, but it's fine. I don't really have time to customize it. We got 20 minutes until the boss spawns. Oh, no, we got to go, go go i mean seriously how are we gonna get that many levels in that little time oh no guys i honestly think i've messed up here Alrighty, well there is a minute until the boss spawns, not even, and we're still a whole level away, so for now we're going to put a pause on the challenge, we're at 27 minutes and 40 seconds, that's where we're going to end the timer for now, I've got some stuff I gotta get done right now, so afterwards we're going to come back, we're going to get level 9, and we're going to go kill a boss and set a record, anyways I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so we are finally back, and it's actually been a couple of days, but the boss is spawning in about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna hit start on this timer again, and to start this off, we're gonna go to the shop and just get some night vision, and then we gotta keep mining, because we need to still somehow hit level 9 to go to the arena. Alright, we just found a relic pocket, which is absolutely huge right here, um, it's giving us a ton, oh my gosh, this thing's massive, oh my goodness, this is possibly the biggest relic pocket in the world, holy... 
just, it literally doesn't stop. We have infinite relics. Let's get these decrypting. We're gonna get so much XP from them. All right, this is getting incredibly close here, but I think we're gonna make it. I'm just not sure. We have, literally have four minutes until the boss spawns. We're about 1200 XP away, so we just gotta literally fully focus on mining right now. Okay, we just made it. I don't know how, but we, we just made it. So we gotta go slash spawn. Hold on, hold on. We gotta place our... Uh, what's our best kit that we got? Kronos and MD. Alright, slash settings. We got literally a minute to prepare. So player settings. See players at boss. We're gonna turn that off. Now we can't see anyone. Slash settings. Um, edit scoreboard. Custom. We're gonna change that to boss. And we should be good. Let's use the slime ball. We got a boss spawning in exactly 50 seconds. So we're, we're so chilling now. Now I've got 13 minutes of strength, so I should be good throughout the fight, but I might try to use some of these uh, just splash potions of strength that I have just because it's going to give me a little bit better. Now if I die, guys, I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of screwed. I got to get back to my stuff and I got to hope that I can keep going. All right, seven seconds, we're jumping in. This is, this is where it all goes down. Hopefully it's not a super overpowered boss, but if it is... Wish me luck. Server restarts in four minutes. Oh no. Come on. Give me some damage. Give me some damage. Give me some damage. We're, we're number four. We're number four. We're chilling. Oh my gosh. We're chilling right now. We're top four. <laughs> we're number three. We're number three. Oh, we gotta sweat it. We can we can get up to number two. There's more people joining the battle. We're number five. How are we doing this bad? Come on. Come on. We're number four. We we gotta beat J Storm. Come on, guys. We're, we're better than that. <laughs> oh man. Looking like we might. We might be able to get it sub 46 or so, which is kind of bad, but it's fine. This stupid boss! <laughs> Why are you running away from me? I'm jitter clicking. I, I literally don't care. I'm so desperate to get top three. We might be able to beat J Storm though. We just gotta sweat, sweat. Come on. Come on! <laughs> we did it! We did it. What's the time? 46. Oh my goodness. We beat it sub 46. Oh my goodness. I don't know how we did that. So there's the proof right there. Boss kill rewards. We are number fifth. And we got decent decent items anyways though i hope you all enjoyed this video if you want to see me lose my custom solar set that i was given last video make sure you stay tuned to the channel but anyways apart from that have a great rest of your day and i will see you in my next one